Hey there, guys. It is the Triumph HD. Brings you episode two of Mod Showcase. If you want to be technical, it is part two of Mod Showcase um, of the Revolution menu, which is on Black Ops 2 here, as you guys can see on the screen right now. I'm sorry if this sounds bad. I have a really bad cold right now, and it, it's really making it hard to talk and stuff. I don't know. Just sound kind of weird, in my opinion. I don't know if that's just internal, but we'll see. Anyways, let's just get straight up into this uh, ep part of um, the Revolution Mod menu here on Mod Showcase. Alright, so as we started off last time, I think we were stopping at Messages. So we're going to start off here with the Account menu. I think I actually did go over this briefly. But as you all know, level 55 is set to max, to max Prestige, unlock all trophies. And... It's what that just did, but make me max prestige. Uh, level 55. And if I was online right now, which my KB is still banned, I'll have another one Monday probably. Anyway, see what their achievement unlocked. Um, and start going to go through all the achievements. I'd be max prestige level 55. Obviously, that's what uh, it really is. Uh, host menu here is there's just another one right here called Kamikaze. You just call that in. And the Kamikaze Bomber is inbound. And I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like a missile uh, missile to me. And you know I don't know what this is from uh, Model for 3 here. It's right there. It's a, stealth, it's a bunch of stealth choppers that make up a straight run in this game. It was the Model for 3, if you guys remember. They had that. And they just brought it here in the mod menu in... Just use stealth choppers as it. Forge mode. I'm pretty sure this does not work. Oh, it does. Okay. So basically, you can um, spawn a crate. Care package crates. And you can just delete the crate, you know. You can't delete, like, the items right here or anything. It's not like Halo or whatever where you can make a new map. Force host, when I get online, that's how I get my own, like, host my own lobbies and be able to use the mods. You gotta put a force host on, so when you start up another game, it's impossible for you not to be the host. Jericho, mi Jericho Missile. And I believe it looks like that, and, yep. See, they're, they're all gonna come here. Yep, okay. Next, I'm gonna try to, um, adver advertise. And that will just show up the Revolution Mod menu as you see there. Hosted by me, Triumph Mods. That's the account I use for this only. Spawn name. I don't even know what that... Sorry about that, guys. I guess spawn name does not work. Um, it kind of just kicked me out the whole lobby, which kind of sucks. But we're just going to get right back into where we were before. And go to uh, Big XP. I mentioned this to you guys before. And I hope that it works this time. I'm not exactly sure what happened on the last one. They didn't spawn in. Which I think that's because it's a uh, bot's lobby and not legit. See, oh, this one did this time, I believe. Anyways, you see the number there, plus 9E. If you get confused because of the aim bot, I'm going to go kill somebody with hip fire. So you can see, I get plus 1E, which means I'm getting a lot of XP. As you can see, my kill streaks right here, right? I'm going to call them in to get them out the way. One kill will get you all your kill streaks because of all the points. And you know, Black Ops 2 is a score system game, not by kills. So that works. That's a basically. This is basically a uh, prestige lobby. If it showed my prestige, look, my score is already all the way up just from that because of how much score I just got. It's a it's a prestige lobby. If I do that, so if you guys want to leave in the comments about that, I'll probably get you all into a game and see if that really does work for everybody. I didn't mean to do that. Let me just get out of here. Um, super speed. This is what it is. It makes you run fast in the game. It's not just me when I do this. You see, they're running fast too. This is how the game works when you do it. Turn that off. Uh, super jump. You all know what that is too. I can just jump high. 
And if you tap it, you know, you don't get that high, but if you hold it, you can, like, hover up here. I can stay up here all day. So, it's kind of like a uh, jetpack, I guess. Next, we have time scales. And this just makes the whole game go faster. The time and everything, everything's quicker. And, yep. Even your gun. Anti-quit, I'm not going to do it, but I'll just end it. Map restart. I guess I'll just do it. Okay, we just start we restarted the whole game like that. Just that easy. And we're gonna go back. End game, I'm not gonna do it. Unlimited game. Hold on, I'm waiting for this game to start. Green light has been given. Now there's no time limit. We could just play. I think you can st yeah, you can still win by points, but the game is unlimited. Fast restart, we can just press this I guess. Does it again. Okay. Basically the same thing. I don't know what the difference of that was, but you already know. Okay. Then we're gonna go to maps, and I can change it to any map I want here. I'll load it up. Apparently, um, I accidentally chose the nuke town, which is not online, so it acts like I don't have the map pack. So I'm gonna just do a different map that I know I have. And let's go to hijacked here on the map menu. And what it does, as you can see here right now, it's loading up hijacked, even though it still shows raid as the game. <laughs> little glitch type thing, I don't know, it's pretty cool. And you can see there are uh, nobody in the game now because of what happened, but they're all connecting pretty soon. Yep, there we go. And there we go. That's how the map menu works. It changes to any map mid-game. Uh, spawn care package. Spawning them. A turret. And you can use the turret. Like that. You could be the turret, which is pretty cool. Okay, see, you still got that on. Turret heli. And you can also use that one. Rockets and strafe. Uh, and chopper minigun. They're all just sentry guns. I don't know what's the point of that, but okay. Players, now I can choose whatever player I want. Give them anything they want. I can teleport them all to me. Unverify, verify. Teleported to you. He's under me now. See, that's how it all works. So if I were to come to um, all players now. You see all the different things I can do. I can give them all god mode and everything. But you can also do this. Teleport to crosshairs. And this is a good thing what people use. You go like that and you just keep shooting straight forward and they keep spawning right in front of you. Kind of cheap, but alright. And then menu theme, I can change the color. I'm gonna go with so orange. No orange? Okay, then I'm gonna go with aqua. So now I open it up, it's a different color. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you've seen some cool things and we're kind of fascinated by it. Next episode is going to be Revolution Mod Menu one more time. Except this time, I'm going to go online and show you guys a little bit of action. It'll most likely just be like Aimbot, God Mode, jumping wicked high and killing everybody. Because I'm a dick. But, hey, I want to show you the proof and uh, I'm afraid to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mod Showcase. I hope you guys are interested in this series altogether. I know some people are not interested in like hacking. I do not plan on like doing this every game when I get on just to get in the lobby and fuck with people. But I'm just gonna do it for entertainment purposes and not often. Most of it's gonna be offline. Just one episode where I'm gonna go in a game and do it live. And it's not like I'm gonna go to multiple. I'm just gonna do one video and be done with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this again. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. Leave a comment what you think of this series idea. And hey, I'll see you Monday. Peace.